Hello YouTuber. In this episode, I'm going to show you an easy way to create a simple collage for your Facebook cover. There are tons of apps that can help you do this quickly, but most do not give you full creative power over what you'd like done. Now, isn't that what you want? As usual, I'm going to start with Photoshop and show you how you can accomplish the same result in Affinity Photo as well. We will also see how masks and brushes can be used to create interesting effects on your photos and your collages. I've also got a little gift for you. Ready to use templates for both Photoshop and Affinity. You can download them in the links below. And do not forget to watch the other comparison episodes in this channel. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is set up your document for the size of your FB cover. The minimum size should be 399 width by 150 height in pixels. However, the ideal size for the picture is 820 by 462 pixels. I've set up a document with these resolutions in both Photoshop and Affinity Photo. And one thing I did differently is that I started with 150 dpi dots per inches and after the document was set up, increased it to 300 dpi. Now this increased my overall resolution and file size, but that's something we can take care of during later stages. I've got three photos I want to work with. These are photos of my kids and I'll be creating a collage with these photos. I'm going to show you one method, just one, to accomplish this. You can start out with this method and go on to create beautiful works of art for your cover photos. I've loaded the three photos now and will arrange the photos so that the portrait, the tall photo, is the top layer and the other two are below it. I'm going to nudge the photos to where I like them to be. Uh, this I'm going to do it on the photos that are below. I want the background to be nice and soft and even. So activating the top layer, I will create a mask for it. Select the mask and note you will need to click on the mask icon and not just the layer. If you select the layer and start working on it, you might end up destroying the layer. So be careful here. Once you create your mask, select the mask. You can now use a zero hardness soft black brush to paint over the edges of the photo. Make sure that your foreground color for the brush is black, black hides and white reveals. Just remember this, for your photos, whenever you use masks, use black to hide what you don't want people to see and use white if you want to reveal something from your photo. And always use masks here. Adjust the size of the brush using the bracket key. Also notice I've rasterized the photo layer. This is needed for the brush to work properly. I'm holding down the shift key to move down in a straight line. Uh, this is really optional and you do not need to do it if you want to create more dynamic strokes. To add more texture to the photo, let's use a different brush, a textured one, and hit the edges to create interesting patterns. Note, you can jump directly to this stage without having to use the previous soft brush. But remember, if you use this as in you want to use a textured brush without using a soft brush, you will remember to go over all the edges. You don't want the straight edges to show up on your photo, do you?
Holding down the control key, I'm going to select the next two layers. We want to lower the opacity level just a wee bit to provide more highlight to the photo in the middle. Let's add a little pop to our photo. Select the curves adjustment. Click and drag on the straight line graph to create a subtle S curve. Your photo is ready. All you have to do now is save the photo in the proper resolution. Watch the next episode to learn all about the settings for proper exporting for an FB cover. So I'll see you in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one. Enjoy working on your photos, create collages. And yes, you can post them up here and I can tell you how they look. Thank you for watching.